right, it's just coming up to eight o'clock. I've done my 30 minute tidy up. I've actually had the washing machine going this morning and tonight and pick up. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film. I will try and do talking rather than music. As I said, it depends on who's in the home, um, what noise and everything. You know, there's a lot of factors to film, especially if you haven't got the um, sort of high-tech equipment. I said I just deal with lighting and everything. This mess here is my nemesis, the black box. And did I tell you it was a big black box? So some of these items I've just laid it all on the table, sort it in categories to make decisions. Some of it like this, I, I've just taken this temporary off of the mantle. This is the third one um, made by Anne from Crafty Batty. Um, that's only because I have started putting my Easter decor up. And like some of these um, trinkets have came from my craft cubby and just need putting away. Things like this need to go in my wool box. Um, I paid 50p. This is the knitting doll. This was something that I was looking out for. Um, if anybody remembers these sort of things like this. And I say it was 50 pence. I've bought a couple now that I've seen um, not so much last year. This was probably 2019 actually. Um, these wooden doll. And it was surprising how many um, in my craft group um, didn't know what French knitting was. Well, I've called it French knitting. And when I explained it, they said, no, I've never done it. Funny enough, it's something I did. Um, I um, remember having the plastic one. This is actually wooden, which is really good. And then I... Um, say a plastic one I had it um, I think it was Christmas stocking when I was very little and I remember doing so many crafts I think that's where my love of crafts actually came from my mother she used to actually um, sew all my dresses make all my clothes and everything when I was little and then we had the wooden ones where you have the wooden um, cotton reel and put the um, nails or something in it the only thing I've, I had actually put the feelers out um, 2019 and briefly last year. Um, if anybody's got any wooden cotton reels. And it, it, the trouble is most of them are plastic. Um, so yeah, so I'm still keeping an eye out in the charity shops for these. Um, said I thought it'd be an easy, quick sort of, um, well not necessarily quick, um, craft but it's something that anybody can do and let's face it you can sit there and talk like we do and i'm trying to get that prepared for when um obviously our craft group can start again at the community center now if i didn't say it was a big black box and um like these it probably looks worse than what it is hopefully but i've allowed a whole day i know it sounds strange a whole day to clear this because it depends on my back and obviously energy levels um like these jars i want to do um sort of gifts in them maybe for easter if you're interested in that white basket underneath is like um things to be burnt our box is actually full so we need to get the garden incinerator out to start the burning paperwork which hasn't been done for so long these are the plastic things that got the covers on um, just to protect them. These are what Hubby actually um, made me. Dividers. These are acrylic um, for my card box. And I've kept them because I was hoping to purchase another box for a friend and to put these in. Um, so that's something that I'm hoping to get done. So that's one reason I've kept those. This is like, I need to store this carefully because I want to keep this. This again is something else and from Crafty Batty made me. And it is on the other side as well, as you can see. But I want to store that, um, you know, sort of carefully so I can use it again um, this year. And I've got um, sort of um, 
paper pads and things there and just a few oddments that need to find homes but I've tried to categorize it so like ornaments that need to go upstairs in my um, upstairs cupboard those I'm hoping to store in my upstairs cupboard um, until I get round to doing it I do not want to clutter um, my craft copy up again um, I'm having a major sweep as I said this was supposed to have been done now, was it a week, two weeks ago I was supposed to have completed it. And although I kept taking bits and pieces out of the box to put away, it wasn't going quick enough. So I thought, well, I am still waiting for a text message from Boots Chemist that my medication is ready. So I thought, you know what, even if it comes through, I can go and pick it up maybe tomorrow. But today, this is my task. And yeah, it looks like it's quite a big one as well. But as I said, I'm not pushing it. This job I need to get done. And yeah, there's the black box down there. And yes, I got a li This is what I mean when you're doing things that you put things away. So I'm going to sit and um, sort of put all this back in its um, case. Um, this is a calendar and it's got sayings on and I want to cut it off as I said I keep these and use them especially when they've got nice quotes and I've also got cards to put away as well so yeah and I've got my steps down from the upstairs so it's not too bad and as I said um, I started putting pieces oh I'm not sure if it's going to stay like this this is just a quick sort of look okay do excuse the step of my nails I think um, this nail polish I've used it so much and it is an old one that it doesn't seem to last I must admit I think I've done my nails two or three times with the same polish um, you know in a week that's why sometimes it might be just um, pink and sometimes it's got glitter on but I probably will be taking the nail polish off maybe today so um, I'm not sure how exciting you might find these but put your feet up have a cup of coffee or a drink a snack whatever or sort something out it's these times when you have bits and pieces that you need to put away um, that take the time I keep saying that don't I and I try and keep on top of most things, but as I said, when I was making the cards, yes, I just actually put this on my desk, which was really naughty. But that would only take a couple of minutes, which really is bad. Um, you know, some of the um, YouTubers say, you know, if it takes less than a minute, just do it. And I've had that on a little blackboard before. Um, it's surprising. So this is what I mean by... Um, the calendar I mean you can if you can get a frame as well you can change especially as these have got the months of the year or you probably know some calendars so not as a calendar but as a piece of art you can have it standing like that and then just obviously change it around for whatever um, month it is um, so like March um, be bright, be happy, be you, and this sort of thing. April, eat, sleep, do, browse, repeat. Especially if you're into that sort of thing. But as I said, if you could, if you didn't want to leave it like that, you could just get a frame and just quit changing it round. If you know what I mean, photo frame. So that's going to be put away with the rest of my calendars that I cut up. This um, I'm going to go through because, again, this has got in little embellishments and things. So um, I'm going to go through this, like this sort of thing. Um, I kept forgetting I got these, actually, because um, it did actually slip behind a box. Um, so I, want, I might use these to make some mail cards and just um, bits and pieces like this. Um, maybe I'll be strict and see um, if there's anything that I don't want to keep. So um, that is one job. That's a sit, another sit-down job, especially um, you know from watching TV or whatever. So I'm going to put that where I can sit. Um, that goes on my papers, and then I can keep an eye on it. And as I said, that's something I can go back to. Sometimes um, energy levels. Um, 
might be a problem and take time like this black box I'm going to try and get it completed I've left the black box there just on the other chance I don't and stuff gets put back in but sometimes if you keep going back and addressing an area even if it's a bit of the time it can work but um, I'm just going to have a, another you know sort of really go at it um, so I'm going to put those away in a moment that was just a a book I pulled out. Um, I got it two pound from Hobby Craft, and um, so all the designs I've shared this before, and I wanted to see about doing something. But the idea is no crafting at the moment. It is to do with sorry if I've not jumped to put this away. It's about getting um, things done at the moment and sorting. Um, usually, I find if there's a number of things that could happen um, that prevent from getting straight. Um, I've, that's why I keep those things in place, my basics. And I know I keep repeating it, 30 minute tidy up, 10 item pick up, one lot of laundry at least a day. Um, when I say 30 minute tidy up, that's if you've got any washing up to do, put pots away, make the beds, you know, just generally straighten things up that keeps you on top if for whatever reason something happens or you know you don't feel up to it you're really in pain or ill or whatever at least then you're not too bad even if you can't for that particular day get your basics done maybe you can rely on family I don't know that you know live in the same home as you I've had it they know my um, sort of routines but there is some things that happen. Illness is one. Um, sorting out is another thing. Um, you know, you start these sort outs and you think, oh, and I've mentioned this, why did I start this? But it needed to be done. Um, a new piece of furniture or, I don't know, you're changing something in a room. You're decorating that room. It's surprising. And then you just sort of, everything goes to pot sort of thing um whatever reason and i'm getting behind now due to the fact that i've sorted this out and my dining room is a mess i want to get it straightened up ready for easter even if it's just the three of us again which i think it's going to be i still want to get it straightened up because um i find in now um things have got plonked on the dining table that um, haven't come out of the black box um, things that belong to the guys once something puts down nothing and then something on top and something else this happens with paperwork and then before you know it you've got one big mess so while I'm talking I want to get this all sorted out so those are the glue so I wanted to keep my um, new one there so I'm going to sort all this out and put it back. It doesn't all go in here. Um, I might have to replenish it with some cards because I used a lot of the cards in here. Again, I'm afraid I might be going over the same sort of um, thing as I did before. But that's just how it goes. Um, me talking to you, me filming it for you guys this all helps because it keeps me on track and it makes me get these things done um, I'm going to keep that there's a few little bits in there that I can use so I'm going to keep that in there and that one's got to go at the side there but I don't want to knock the camera again and the same as that one that goes up there that's the tag box these are really good these are the works by the looks of it £1.50 and you don't necessarily have to use them for tags you can make them for anything you know like the card flip tag book that I've got um, you can take sometimes the loops off or put a gem on use them on cards good vibes only in that and this is where I got um, I think it was the other one actually this one I used to um, sort of get the colour scheme for one of my cards that I made so these are a good idea not just as safer tags so again hopefully I'm not going to knock you but 
they will go away. I'm not just shoving things, they will definitely go away before I move on to the next thing. I don't want any more messes. Right, this is about empty. Yes, it is. Look, this is what I was doing, as I said. But I've kept this because I thought I could cut around some of these and use them on cards. So I will keep that one. This is another book. Um, it has been started, but that's the next one I might be doing some cards with. So that goes in there. And... I do like these cards, these um, sort of um, brown paper ones. I um, might have to get some more of those. I think they came from Poundland. Do excuse the rustling. As I said, normally this would only take sort of a minute or two. So that's just scraps, bits of paper. And these are the um, little mini envelopes. They can go in my embellishment um, drawer out the way. Do excuse, I've got a creaky chair. Maybe it needs some um, adjusting or oiling. Again, I do apologise for the rustle. And then that is complete. And bag. So this is my actual um, sort of um, mobile craft mini bag. So that's going to be put away. Put down there. Right, these um, scraps of bits of paper. I have got two boxes now, two different sizes. So I've kept this one. It is actually got a mixture of Christmas and everything. At some point, um, I would like to um, split this, but I'm just putting it in there. And the larger box I've got like this, as I've shared before, I've actually got the larger bits in. And then I've just got me cards to put away in my card box. But since a lot of these can be used for um, any occasions. And I do love these. I'm hoping to get some more. So I think these all near enough can be done for any occasion. I might put that in for the male birthdays. And that's that one I think I'm going to put in for mail as well. So I'll get my card box down. And I've mentioned it before, I will keep probably repeating myself. This box came from the range, being fabulous takes practice. It was $8.99 and I find it really good for my craft box. And as I said um, before, probably maybe these acrylic um, dividers. Um, so I can um, put, you know, everything in the categories so it's easier to find. Now, my goal, and it's been a five, six year old, six years ago, believe it or not. So it's not just something that's just come about. It's gradually getting there. Is that I want an, an easier life if I can. Finding things, organising, things like that. And it's taken a while because, believe it or not, I had so much stuff. I still got so much stuff. Um, it is sometimes the expense that you've paid originally or sentimental, especially the sentimental is the hardest thing and crafting. Um, but you get there, don't you? And so I want it at a stage that um, you can go into a drawer or cupboard, fairly organised, but say a cupboard or wardrobe and... You can open those doors, find what you need, or know that not everything is going to come toppling down on you. You know, where things have been shoved. Um, that's my main goal. Now getting that much older and health issues and things like that, and I think a lot of people can actually um, relate to this. I just want it easier. And so family can find things. I do sort of keep telling um, family members where they can find certain things like the tape and the feet 
and I'm bad at this about putting stuff away sometimes and then find out you've got a clump like that um, bag there that I'd left for a day or so after doing my car um, my cards um, it's getting into a habit of putting stuff away I am semi good about it I just get those moments you know where I ought to have a cut-off point and say hang on a minute it's late enough let's just put everything away do you know what I mean not leave it as I said I do have my reset at night um at the home as much as I can but I have got quite a few hot spots arising due to the fact that I got distracted and started um you know sorting out so I'm going to put those books away this is my next job I'm going to put these away um down here um hopefully you can understand what this conversation is about you have i don't know something happen and all your systems you know may go out of the window as i said i try and do the basics um if i can um just so it keeps on top of it and then even if you've got a day or a couple of days that it may not happen your routines at least you won't be in such a bad mess I am queen of notes in our household. They know this, post-it notes. I have like meal planner up here. I have one for shopping. And I'm just putting these systems in place as the guys know. That's my hubby and a younger son, both working both working full-time long hours overtime as well like these systems in place that you know if not necessarily if anything was to happen but to hopefully make their life um easier it might be a fact that they may roll their eyes and think yeah i'm over planning things but i think it just keeps it in place and like meal planning and the um shopping list um helps to keep down um costs wastage that's something i don't like um and not to store too much food as i said there's certain items staple items yes you do store um but then it comes to the stage sometimes you know you've only got a certain amount of space to store these items and this is coming back to the um wardrobe and drawer thing when you rummage things fall out the last thing like my my food cupboard can get a little bit messy um i like to, i like to keep certain soup cans and things like that you know and when i remember yes yeah, sugar because i don't eat have sugar as i said unless it's in baking um and things like that but if you have too much in a space that means you can't organize it properly or everything just comes falling out and then you're in a mess and then it's happened to me put my hands up and it's happened to me and then you just tempt up shove it close the doors or the drawer or anything and think <laughs> I can't be doing with that and I want to get away from that if I can and the only way I can see it happening or it's progressing through the years is to yes um, review declutter and organize and the main Thing is to declutter and that's why I found it really hard with my craft space because um, I want to be able to reach up so say I've got this one this is little boxes I've made and I've got some you know the owl tags and things you know these little boxes again it was from a kit from the works I know exactly what's in there and then I can lift this one back and it's got all my punches and it's at a place that I'm sitting down so I've got only got a walking cupboard without the door on if you've only just started um, following me and whatever I put down it's it, everything's there that's got um, these large things and that came with a set that I got from a um, car boot so whatever I pull down it's there and it's organized and then in here this is now christmas cards in this one things have to 
not necessarily change and that's something else that can cause messes something doesn't work or crafters you find that you start a different project and dare I say it I'm not sure if you're one of these people hands up again it could happen to me you think I'm going to start something else and then think I'll do that that project later that and then shove it or it goes in a box or it goes in a bag and you just leave it that's what happened actually with the mess in my craft copy especially when um, stuff um, remained in bags due to the fact I'm um, going backwards and forwards to the community center which ha didn't happen really last year so basically 2019 and going back to like my um, junk book and things like that that's a project which I've got here because that's still ongoing and also I've got my um, large um, tag flip book here in here so that was one of the last ones I did the Easter so they are here but it's not been shoved it's organized and um, again I'm hoping you can understand what I'm saying with health um, you know taking into account other family members and things believe it or not hubby and a son does not like clutter <laughs> and Another, dare I say, another time I can get in a little bit of mess and I'm trying to be better at it is when I change my decor from seasons. Like the Easter one comes out for a couple of weeks. Some of the spring stuff will stay a bit longer. Um, but then I've got to put the ornaments away. Very often I try and plan it that I incorporate the existing um, decor without it being too um messy dare I say or cluttered other times like Christmas a lot of the decor has to be put away for the Christmas decor to come out that's just another thing and I know I've got my Easter boxes upstairs and yes I'm concentrating on two three things every time I take some off the dining room table I take it upstairs put it away if it needs to go upstairs then in my Easter boxes in the games room I take out something that has to come down and think yes I'm gonna put that and then whatever's left I'm gonna consider you know reviewing it whether I will package it up as I said and give it to a relative or whether it'll go to the charity shop things like that so I'm gonna put this pile away and I've got this away then my desk is completely cleared again ah!